Are you ready for more trigonometry? In this lesson, you will learn how to make your own astrolabe and how to use it. We will make a tool to measure the height of things that are quite far away. The height of a tree, the mindset building or the top of a rugby post. Look at this object in my hand. It is an astrolabe that I made. Are you wondering what it actually is and does? An astrolabe is an ancient device dating back to about the 6th century AD. As you can see, it is made up of a flat circle and a rod. It is marked with lines to show the angles. It was used to find the positions of stars and planets. You could use an astrolabe to measure mountains or tall buildings, to tell the time or to navigate. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to use an astrolabe, estimate the height of objects, and calculate the height of an object using trigonometry. I asked two learners to follow a set of instructions and construct an astrolabe. See if you can do it with them too. On a piece of cardboard, draw a semicircle with a radius of 12 centimeters. Then mark the center of the semicircle and draw the diameter. At one end of the diameter, mark zero degrees as it appears on the protractor. Now use the protractor and mark the angles at 10 degree intervals. Use the angle markings as a guide and draw straight lines from the center of the semicircle to the circumference. Now you cut out the shape. Now you need the straw to form the astrolabe's eyepiece to look through. So we need the straw. Now pierce a small hole through the center of the diameter of the circle. To make the drop line, which is called a plumb line, cut a length of string and thread it through the hole. We've cut the string. Okay, we're going to use some more sticky tape and fasten the plumb line at the back of the astrolabe. Okay, attach a small weight, such as a ball of plasticine clay, to the end of the string. Okay. Now, don't worry if you did not make an astrolabe. You can watch what the learners did and still be able to find out how trigonometry works. Hold the astrolabe with a semicircle pointing downwards. Like so? Yes, and the plumb line must be pointing in 90 degrees. And then you look through the straw which is the eyepiece, okay. and you tilt it up at the thing that you want to look at. Okay, I see what cool. you mean. Cool! The plumb line's moved. It's not at so, 90 degrees anymore. Sweet, man. Cool. That's cool. <laughs> Let's look at how we read off the angle. If I take the astrolabe and I look at something that is level with my eye, and I take the reading of the plumb line, it is 90 degrees. If I tilt the eyepiece to the top of an object whose height I am measuring, I will take the new reading. The plumb line is now at 70 degrees. So to calculate the angle, I must see where I started at 90 and where I ended at 70 degrees. And the difference is the angle. 90 degrees minus 70 degrees 
20 degrees. Now, we said previously that trigonometry is based on the study of right angle triangles. As you use your astrolabe, you need to create an invisible right angled triangle. Can you remember what we call the side opposite the right angle in a right angle triangle? It is a hypotenuse. And you should remember that the hypotenuse is the longest side in a right angle triangle. When you use your astrolabe, draw an imaginary line from your eye to the top of the object you want to measure. So, if I am looking at the top of the smart board, I imagine a line here. This is the hypotenuse. If I look straight ahead, this is a horizontal line. Now, drop a perpendicular line from the top of your object to meet the horizontal line. So I imagine drawing a perpendicular line from over there at the edge of the board down to the horizontal line. I have created a right angle triangle. Now, let us do real trigonometry. Look around you. Is there a door in the room? Focus on it. Look at Nkadi standing next to the door. Estimate how high you think the door is. You can use other objects to help you estimate the height of the door. I am 1,74 meters tall, so I would guess that the door in the studio is just over 2 meters high. Remember that if you first estimate, you will know if the answer you calculate seems realistic. We will use a formula and the tan button on the calculator. This is a useful trigonometrical formula. For now, don't worry about where this formula comes from. We will get to that later. Write down this formula. Height of the door divided by the distance from the door is equal to tan alpha. Now, look at these fun pictures. Nkadi is 1,6 meters tall. And when she tried to measure the height of the door, she could barely reach. To practice using an astrolabe, Nkadi decided to use the formula we mentioned. She stood 1,5 meters from the door. When she used the astrolabe and looked up at the top of the door, the reading on the plumb line changed 20 degrees. Using the formula, Nkadi managed to get an answer close to 2 meters. Now, clearly Nkadi did not need to use this formula, as she could simply measure the height of the door. Let us try an example in which it is not so easy to measure the height. Let us determine the height of the mindset building. This is when trigonometry becomes very useful. Trigonometry helps us measure the height of objects that are not so easy to actually measure. There are 17 floors in the mindset building. How high do you think the building is? Well, in an office block, each floor is about 4 meters high. So I would say it is about 68 meters high. Let us use trigonometry to see how good you are at estimating. Cindy stood at the edge of the pavement, which is 11 meters from the building. When she looked at the top of the building, she found that the angle was 80 degrees. Let us draw a diagram and fill in the information that we have. Here is a representation of the building and Cindy. Cindy measured this angle alpha to be 80 degrees.
Now we will use the formula I have written here. Height of the building divided by the distance from the building is equal to the tan of alpha. Now the distance from the building is 11 meters. So let's fill in the information. We don't know the height, so let the height be represented by little h divided by distance from the building which is 11 meters is equal to tan and we know that the alpha is 80 degrees so we write tan of 80 degrees now I will multiply both sides by 11 so that I get the H alone so H will equal 11 times tan of 80 degrees make sure you understand these steps we have not learned how to use our calculator yet and we will be doing this quite a bit in the next few lessons on trigonometry look at the keys I press on the calculator I press 11 times 80 tan equals and I get an answer of 62 comma 38 and rounded off to one place the answer will be 62 comma 4 so H is equal to 62 comma 4 meters now remember that Cindy measured from her eye level so we need to add her height which is 1,7 meters. So if she has a height of 1,7 meters and the height from her eye level to the top of the building is H, which is 62,4 meters, the total height of the building will be 64,1 meters. I think that is brilliant. Having worked with a simple astrolabe, I think we did pretty well. We were only four meters out. It is difficult to measure angles and sides totally accurately. When architects or surveyors use trigonometry, they use equipment such as the theodolite to measure angles accurately. Let us look at the outcomes for this lesson so that you can see whether you have achieved them or not. Do you know how to use your astrolabe? Can you estimate the height of objects? Calculate the height of an object using trigonometry and the formula height of object divided by distance from object is equal to tan alpha. Now it is task time. One. Using your astrolabe, estimate the height of two objects, such as your school building, a netball post, a rugby post, a soccer post. 2. Measure the actual height, if possible. 3. Calculate the height of the objects using the formula height of object divided by distance from object is equal to tan Alpha. In the next lesson, we will show you what this formula for tan alpha is really about. Until then, from me, Renault, bye bye. <laughs>